New South Wales, Australia. Seven years of drought in this key rice producing area means prices have soared. Farmers like Laurie Arthur have had the worst harvests in living memory. At the moment it's uh, very bleak. For the last three years I've grown no rice. Last year the Australian rice industry produced 19,000 tonne uh, from a high of 1.7 million tonne, about a percent of what it used to grow. Experts say climate change is one of the main reasons. I think there is no doubt that climate change is, is playing a significant role in the decline of rainfall across southern Australia. We're losing our winter rainfall zone. This used to be a Mediterranean climate where we'd get most of our rain in winter. That would allow farmers to sow crops of wheat and other, other, other crops. And, and it was a very productive landscape. Laurie is concerned how the people who normally rely on his rice are faring now. Generally we produce about 10,000 tonne of food each year. That would feed about 100,000 people around the world for a year and most of our production is exported. I presume they're getting their food from somewhere else at the moment, but they're certainly not getting it from here. The head of the UN panel on climate change warns food security is becoming a major issue. There is ever present the danger of large-scale famine. Clearly, we could have a crisis in several parts of the world. Deniliquin. This is where rice crops are processed. It belongs to Australia's largest rice exporter, Sun Rice. In good years, they produce a million tonnes for the world market. In a normal year, we feed about 40 million people in between 60 and 70 countries. This rice mill would actually feed about 15 million people a day all of their food requirements for a year. Rice farmers like Laurie are perilously close to winding up their businesses. If it keeps going much longer, I'd say this whole district will basically shut down I can't ignore the predictions for climate change in the Murray-Darling Basin and they suggest that we're going to have more regular droughts. And so I've got to work out, is this drought going to finish? Am I going to return to normal production? And if I get those basic things wrong, I dare say I'll go broke.